Hi, St. Andrews, my name is Julie Wood and I'm bringing you this morning moment from a little cabin in Big Bear. Would you join me in opening up your Bible to Ephesians chapter four, verse one. I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Well, today, as much as ever before, it is important for us to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. This is such a unique time in history between COVID and the racial tensions that exist. After another heartbreaking and unjust death, this time of George Floyd, the nation erupted. And of course, as we're all aware, this last weekend, a resounding outcry for justice in response to the ongoing systemic racism that is all too prevalent today rippled throughout our nation. I appreciated the reflections of my friend Wendy, who said this, may we not limit God to our experience. Jesus was ultimately crucified for the way he stood up to his system for the marginalized and oppressed. And while some may sit in silence, my prayer is that we will see the church rise up now more than ever before to be a beacon of hope and unity that stands with and advocates for those who suffer and are persecuted. Friend, what is the Spirit saying to you amidst this time? What does it look like for you to bring about and be the bond of peace? Also, over the past several weeks, there have been increasing tensions around COVID-19 and the various thoughts around the reopening of church campuses. Some believe it's time to gather again and others believe that not only would it be unsafe, it would in fact be unloving to do so. Some believe everyone should wear masks and strictly adhere to the social distancing guidelines. While still others believe it is overblown, it's just a flu and that these precautions are not as necessary as everyone thinks. What if instead of judgment for those who view this differently than we, we choose humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another in love, like this Ephesians passage invites us to do. Again, with this, I ask friend, where is the spirit leading you? How is he moving within you in this time? Well, one thing is clear, whether through the racial tensions, outcry and longing for justice, or uh, through the polarizing tensions within the church on issues of racism or COVID-19, now is the time for us to make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit. We are Imago Dei, indeed the very image of God. And the world is longing for shalom. As we participate with the Holy Spirit and position ourselves to be used as his instruments, we can be these agents of peace. As we enter this new day, let's orient our mind and position our hearts to follow in the way of Jesus and bear his peace in the world around us not just to those who it's easy to align with, but all the more to seek understanding, to humble ourselves and to bring shalom to people in situations where there's disagreements and disalignment. We don't need to be gathered in the church building to rise up and become and be the agents of change and unity that we were created to be as we restore his creative intent in the world around us church. Let's rise up. Let's bring the hope of Christ and the unity of the Spirit to a world that desperately needs Him. As we sang in the modern service this last week, that familiar song, Take My Life, the lyrics lyrics say, take our lips and let them be filled with messages from Thee. Together, let's pray for peace for those who have been wronged and also for those who have been in the wrong. Let's participate in the spirit and bring 
Shalom. Go with God today.